Until now, we've only learned the first and second laws of motion. Oh, you're riding a bicycle. Have you ever wondered why a bicycle moves forward? Ah, well, it moves according to Newton's third law, which says that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. To understand this, see what happens when you drop a tennis ball. As the tennis ball hits the floor, it causes a downward force on the floor. This is the action. The floor reacts by pushing on the ball with the same force, but in the opposite direction. Action, reaction. Together, the floor and the ball form what's called the action-reaction pair. So now, how it applies to your bicycle. When you push the pedal, the parts of the tire which touch the ground push it backwards. The ground also pushes the tires forward with the same force. So the parts of tires and earth form a pair of action and reaction. So what happens to the earth when your tires are applying force to push it backwards? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing happens to it since the earth is very big as compared to your bicycle. The force applied by your tires does not move it backwards but force applied by the earth pushes your bicycle forward. So now you understand Newton's third law. Yep, the tennis ball is the right example. The ball and the floor are creating a pair of action and reaction.